So what is citizen science? Citizen science is a bunch of volunteers who volunteer to make observations and collect data as part of a science project. Here in Arizona, we am smart. Thousands of people give their time. Here, I was stuck in a trench, six feet down, building a habitat for burrowing owls. Why do owls need a habitat? Well, the animals that used to build burrows for burrowing owls are in decline. Burrowing owls are the only raptor that nests underground. Cute little guys, great neighbors, they don't have loud parties, and they eat scorpions. Citizen scientists observe and protect the burrowing owls by collecting poop. The big question right now is, where are all the mouse bones that are supposed to be in that poop? Citizen scientists in Arizona go out in a big way for the great backyard bird count. This happens every February with thousands, if not tens of thousands of observations collected in a database by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. And we here in Arizona, well, we outpace some of the, those states back east. We also go out for ferrets. You go out, flash with a flashlight, and if you see two little green glowing eyes flashing back, well, that's a black-footed ferret, and you count it. Black-footed ferrets are on the endangered species list, along with the very rare desert ornate tortoise. Well, actually it's not a tortoise, it's a turtle, a turtle in the desert. So no wonder it needs help from citizen scientists who have discovered you are more likely to see it when it's raining. There are also citizen scientists who donate their time in their summer vacation to hike down to the Grand Canyon in search of the Kanab Amber Snail, a Pleistocene era animal that only occurs in two spots, one in the Grand Canyon and one in Utah, as well as babysitting bald eagles. Bald eagles are very cranky when they're nesting, and citizen scientists both keep an eye on them, make observations, and keep people from bugging them. Citizen scientists in Arizona also unearthed the, the woolly mammoth in Gilbert. Uh, getting your hands dirty is all about citizen science, as well as working on with butterflies, with bio blitzes. These folks were at the Saguaro National Park where, in a day, they counted everything living they could find, especially the ants because we have many ant species that are unique to Arizona. They also came out for butterflies. Really, you tag butterflies? Can't they fly after that? Well, if you see a butterfly with one of these tags, we want you to call and tell us that you saw it. Monarch butterflies in Arizona don't do the same thing that monarch butterflies do east of the Rockies. We don't know what they do, and that's why citizen scientists turn out to tag them in the spring and in the fall to figure out where they go and what they go, do. We think maybe they go to California, or maybe northern Arizona. I'd go there too. Isn't this like the worst vacation photo ever? But this is a photo point monitoring. What it is is that you take the same photo in the same spot over the course of time, and drought specialists take a look at how the vegetation is doing and the level of the water. Uh, master gardeners in Arizona are now trialing some uh, vegetables that are typically grown in arid regions in Africa and Asia to try and get us to eat them and also give us the best advice for how to grow them May through August. This one's called Jamaica leaves, but it's not that Jamaica leaves. This is an edible hibiscus. So citizen scientists in Arizona also come out in uh, big numbers for um, Astronomy. In fact, we're known throughout the world for our amateur astronomy community. In Arizona, uh, there is a man, uh, Charles Jules, who uh, has passed away, but he was a retired psychiatrist, and he discovered not only over 300 asteroids, but a comet as well. And he worked out of a citizen scientist observatory in Paradise Valley. We also have Osiris Rex, which is here in Tucson, and it's a citizen science project to spot and map asteroids. And Robert Gagliano from a Cottonwood, an amateur astronomer, he discovered a planet that is circling four stars. So again, we am smart here in Arizona. <laughs> and next week, the entire world is looking up at the sky to count how many stars they can see in an effort to understand light pollution. This is one of the projects out of Kitt Peak Observatory and based here in Tucson. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.